Okay, this lesson is going to teach you about how to use validation. Okay, validation is there to minimize errors. So we're going to teach you a couple of ones that we can use for this spreadsheet. Uh, so the first one we're going to look at is uh, drop down lists because this column here would work much better with a drop down. So to do that, you highlight the cells you want to apply the rule to, and then you go up here to data, the top, and then validation, and then you go down and allow a list. Now. I could select um, a list you know, from a table. Uh, if I clicked on source and highlighted these cells here um, and pressed OK, I would then have you know, a list of all these people's names that I could then put into my uh, drop-down box. Uh, but obviously that's not what we want to do for this tutorial because your agenda isn't your name. Okay, but that could be handy later on. Um, so let's just press undo and go back to data validation after selecting what we want it to do. And uh, I just want two letters, M and F, so I'm gonna go M comma F, and that's it. Now I can chuck in input and error messages that tell people you know, what to do when you move your mouse over it, uh, and an error alert that'll pop up when they make a mistake. So I could just have an error alert, only enter, only select M or F, and I can probably make that the uh, input message as well. Maybe just like that. Um, I might even go over here and customize the little symbol. There you go. Press OK. And now I have select M or F as a little pop up there and a drop down list that lets me pick. Okay, if I tried to type in a number, that my error message would come up. Okay, likewise if I typed in the wrong letter same deal. Okay, so real handy. Um, the next one we can do is uh, you can customize what numbers go in here. So we only want numbers in there and we only want them between certain values. So hourly rate in dollars. So highlight all of them, get a data validation, um, and no one's going to get paid, you know, 100 bucks an hour as a used car salesman. So uh, generally get down here to decimals and allow, you know, between 20 bucks, which would probably be like, you know, minimum wage. Um, and about, I don't know, just go with 99 for now, um, so that it's kind of feasible. Press OK. And now if I tried to type in 19, I'd get an error message. Okay, obviously I haven't customized the error message, so I should do that too. Type in, please enter an amount between and 99. Okay, so now that if I make a mistake, I know why. Okay. Um, cars sold, no, I don't know. Try and make that one logical. Go to settings, change it to a whole number because you can't sell half a car or a decimal point or anything like that. Um, and I don't know, zero, if you end up like this poor Timmy Sanderson bloke. And a maximum in one week, I don't know, 150. If you sold 150 cars in one week, you'd be the best salesman ever. Um, error alert, please enter a number between zero and 150. Now, I know this one might seem a bit useless, but the main reason why we're doing it is to stop letter input. Okay, so press OK. So now if I accidentally mash the keyboard and press the wrong key, I'd get that, okay, to stop that kind of stuff up. Hours worked, uh, you do a similar thing with that. Um, you don't really work half hours, I usually do it on the hour, so you could do a decimal if you wanted, we'll go with decimal, why not, and go between zero and no one works more than, <laughs> you'd be crazy to work more than 80 or 90 hours, so we'll just go with 90, type in an error message, enter a number, between 0 and 90. Okay, now uh, these ones here, um, same kind of deal with the uh, hourly rate. Um, just, you can make it uh, quite high because obviously these figures could get really high. So we just want to stop people typing in letters. So go over here, decimal, 0 to I don't know, 50,000. 
Okay. And that should clear that up. Probably should put the error message in there. There a number between zero and 50,000. All right, there you go. Okay, so we've just chucked a whole bunch of validation rules in here that will stop uh, typos. Okay, so if we tried to put in a number, I mean a letter, you know, we'd fix that. Okay, so uh, doesn't take you too long and uh, now you've got some validation. Okay, now I only explored a couple of the validation rules. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in here. You can, uh, you know, choose uh, text length. So if you want to make, uh, you know, the name field only have a certain uh, amount of characters, you can do that as well. Um, and that kind of thing, okay? They're the ones that are most useful, okay? The input and the error messages are really good for you, you know, making it more user-friendly. Um, so I'd definitely put them in, okay? So hopefully that was useful. Make sure you've done this to the, your current working Shifty Bob's car sales spreadsheet, um, and you can save and finish now. Thank you.